Hi, everybody! And once again, we're back. Continuing our look at Transformers Prime, we're going to take a look at the figure I and a lot of other people consider the best Cyberverse figure from Wave 1 and possibly thus far. Bulkhead. Simple, same packaging. Bio on the side. Photoshopped image on the back. We've seen it all before with the other figures. Let's move on and get to the figure. Okay, here's Bulkhead. Now before we begin, I just want to mention that I'm fairly certain in packaging, Bulkhead's wheels are positioned upward like this. Um, you just want to fold them down for robot mode once you get them out of the packaging. Um, he does come with a translucent uh, blue plastic weapon that's made of uh, a sterner plastic than the Legion class figures. And as you can see, it's a great representation of his wrecking ball. Yep. Pegs nicely into a hole in his hand. He can also sort of hold it from a side here. Like it's a blaster. We'll get to those additional pegs a little bit later. Let's come in and take a look at Bulkhead's head in more detail. Alright, as you can see, Bulkhead has a full mouth faceplate like his battle mode. And I think you can even see the blue in his eyes. He's a predominantly green with uh, touches of red on the shoulder, which are the backlights in his uh, vehicle mode. Like a gunmetal black for the uh, feet and hands. But basically this olive drab green. Um, he does, of course, have on his back the translucent blue plastic and the peg right there for him to interact with various... Uh, Legion class vehicles and play sets. You can also tell he's quite hollow. One thing I've neglected to mention in these reviews is I am concerned about the use of the clear plastic. Um, recently, within the last um, three to six months, I have been hearing reports of older figures that used an abundance of translucent plastic breaking down and cracking. On some of the figures I have, I have noticed stress marks forming in the joints, and in some instances, some bits of plastic flaking off. Now that could have been mold flash, or it could have been a ref uh, breaking from the joint. The figures are still tight and everything, but caution is advised, especially if you leave these on display, as I don't know what the air will do to them. Let's uh, move on and take a look at Bulkhead's transformation. Okay, before we start transformation, so let me go over his articulation. Bulkhead's head can swivel slightly left to right. He has a ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the elbow, which allows for swivel movements, ball jointed hips, Hinged knee, that's how far it can bend normally, but it can also, for transformation, bend in a bit awkward manner. To start transformation, we are going to start at the legs and fold his feet down, like so. That'll form the front of the vehicle. Next, you're going to want to turn the robot's arms forward at the ball joint, um, so the Autobot logo is facing front. You then want to come in and slide the arms into the shoulder pad so that it clicks into place, just like that. Next, you're going to come in, rotate Bulkhead's arms behind him, as well as fold them upward. They will peg so slightly together. Next, 
bend the arms up on the elbow joint to tuck them in while bringing up the wheels. The wheels will peg into holes on the robot's forearm and hold this whole rear section in place. Next, you want to take these two flaps that you formed and bring them over covering Bulkhead's face. Finally, you want to come in, unpeg the chest from the hole on top of the vehicle, swing it forward until it's, while doing so, will bring the hips back, making the roof the hood of the car, and then swing his legs up and tag and pegging them in to slots underneath the hood. Bulkhead is now in his vehicle mode and looks really good. Let's take for a moment and I'll be back with my final thoughts. This entire week I've been mentioning how the Legion class weapons, or I should say Cyberverse weapons, can peg together. I thought I'd demonstrate this now. This is a uh, bulkhead's wrecking ball. As we saw earlier, there are two pegs on the side, a hole in the front, hole in the top, hole in the bottom, peg in the back, what have you. You can come in and using Optimus Prime's blasters, there are holes in the rear of them by the grip that you can then use to peg together and form this contraption. I should mention that if you can tell there is some stress marks around the hole. I don't know how that will affect things in the long run. Bringing bulkhead in you can then take this weapon and peg it on his hand as normal or give it to Optimus Prime to hold. You can also have bulkhead hold it just like that. This is a fun play feature for the Cyberverse figures and uh, it's really fun. I actually at one point had all the Autobot weapons, Legion and Commander class, combined together. If you see Bulkhead in stores, I can highly recommend this figure. He's fun to transform. He's on scale. I'm not on scale, but he's very close to his animation model. More so than the Voyager class figure we have now. There is a repaint that should be hitting shells shortly if it hasn't already. That's in a much darker green scheme with some additional paint applications in vehicle mode. Either way, you'll be getting an excellent figure. This is your old pal Chuck. For Bulkhead, I'll see you next time.